Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play where guys, as usual, the big focus is the hero upgrade. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing that, but you know, that's the reality of Town Hall 12. Hero upgrades. Forever. Uh, so uh, guys, you can tell, the king's done, the queen still has two days, the warden still has two days, but the king is awake. And the idea here would be to upgrade him again immediately. Uh, but I need more Dark Elixir. I need 233,000 and I'm sitting at 222,000 with a bit in the treasury. But, you know, I'd rather not have to use that if I don't have to. Uh, so let's go do some raids. Um, I've actually been using Barch because, again, I get way ahead in Dark Elixir if I use Miners. Then I do Elixir and I'm kind of trying to prepare for the Warden upgrade in two days. That's not that long away. So... Let's uh, let's go do some raids real quick. Um, I've got actually quite a bit of gold and quite a bit of dark elixir uh, And I've got a plan for Something special for today. I don't normally do what I'm about to show you guys, uh, but We'll just have to see today's gonna be special But the first search is probably even more special if I could be honest look at this. It's a dead base It's a flipping dead base now a lot of you guys are probably looking at my army and you're thinking wait a minute That is not Barch why do you have balloons? Why do you have a P.E.K.K.A.? What's going on? Season pass. Hello, the silver pass, you still get perks. And if I use balloons, if I use P.E.K.K.A. and win the raids, then I get points and I'll be able to unlock more stuff. So I just kind of, sometimes, I include these random troops into my armies just to satisfy the, the perks for the season pass. That's all. So, guys, let's start off with um, corner buildings. I've got a couple of corner huts that are going to need to be taken care of and as soon as this hut goes down then we'll start spreading out the barge and of course again i've got the peck i've got the balloons we'll find a good place for it as long as i use them and we win the raid that's really all that matters so dead bases absolutely perfect look it's over five hundred thousand golden elixir um and the five thousand dark elixir on top of that i mean this is honestly the perfect base to find especially in a video i love this finally finding something that is appropriate for this strategy is just beautiful. It really is just beautiful. So, uh, okay, so now that the attack has been in the books, we got our, this uh, gold mine here. Um, we almost got all the gold. The dark elixir is actually sitting in this storage and in that drill there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put down this P.E.K.K.A. We're gonna wall wrecker through the corners, okay? So this will actually open up both compartments. I've got my king as well, so I'm gonna send him in. And also, as soon as the wall, uh, the um, air defense is down, we're actually going to use these balloons and snipe out a few defenses. So we'll throw these guys down there. Very, very nice. So uh, now it's about this Pekka and it's about this King. Can we get them to turn around a little bit? Very good. Okay, cool. So, um, ooh, and this balloon actually will probably get a lot of this Dark Elixir just from taking out this Inferno. Look at this. We're going to get all the Dark Elixir with this balloon. That was perfect! Oh my goodness! Alright, and then we got a CC. Let's go ahead and rage and heal over the CC. Just take out this town hall, because I feel like I want the stars. Also, uh, poison over this queen and this king. Perfect. We just totally nuked the base. Now, I forgot about this gold mine over here. I didn't actually see it. Uh, but, you know, 10,000 gold, not that big of a deal. If you look at my gold storage, I'm pretty much full anyway. So it doesn't matter. But that was awesome, right? So um, I guess now, you know what? While I wait, because the troops are still gathering percentage, if we get to 70%, we get a full loot bonus. So I'm going to log into my um, my account on my phone. We get 69%. Fantastic. Close, but not quite. Uh, with that loot bonus, though, look at that. Over 650,000 gold, 630,000 elixir, and uh, 5,600 dark elixir. That was a lot of loot. And I'm logged into the wrong account. Hold on. I was logged into Lincoln. Fix that engineer. Why was I logged into that account? Anyway, so let's go ahead and switch accounts now. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm in the wrong clan with my main account. So hold on, let me jump in real quick and donate to myself. Or, or somebody may beat me to it, who knows. But there we go. All right. And wow, I did actually make it in time. That was awesome. There we go. Boom. Love that. All right, so let's go do another one. Um, I've got... Wait. 
I've practically got max gold. I need to spend loot. I don't want to waste gold. Gold is a thing I need a lot of. So, all right, so let's go ahead and switch into my progress base. What, what am I waiting for? Hold on, what's in the way? I think this stupid cake is in the way. I've got to remove this cake, okay? Not a fan of having the, I, I'm okay with having one cake. There it is. I don't want to have multiple cakes, especially if they're in the way. So 20 seconds from now, I'll, I'll get even more gold, by the way. Uh, and then I'll, um, I'll need to do some upgrades. So the special thing while we wait on that is in the treasury. No, what is this thing? Again? What is this guy? I forgot his name. The trader. There you go. Treasury trader. Easy to get confused. So the trader actually has a book of heroes at half price. They're normally a thousand gems. Today they're 500. So you know what? Half prize or half price books of heroes is probably the second best way to spend your gems. The, the number one best way would be donating troops if you have the gold pass, obviously. A one gem gold, uh, one gem donations is just amazing. So I'm gonna buy this book of heroes and we're gonna use it today on the king. Yes, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So 500 gems, let's go. Three, two, one, bam. Now I've got lots of gems and I never spend them and I save them for particular moments. And the moment that I, that I always save my gems for is for that moment right there when I get that half price book of heroes. Got to flip and love it. All right, so now uh, I think I can bounce into my progress space. I can, very nice. And let's just get it done. All right, so let's upgrade this king. I've got loads of uh, treasury. Actually, you know what I do have that would be perfect. I've got 5,000 free dark elixir. Look at that. Look at that. 233,000 dark elixir. I, need, I have 233,065. It's a shame I don't have a dark elixir rune because this would be the perfect moment to use one. Man, I wish I... Do I have one? That would be amazing if I just happened to have one and just didn't realize it. I don't. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this king. 233,000 dark elixir. A seven-day upgrade. More like seven seconds, because I've got that book in three, two, one, bam. Book of Heroes instantly wake up this guy, because I honestly want his builder for something else. Bam. Welcome back, King, level 62. For the first time in a long time, you're actually ahead of the queen. Congrats, man, congrats. All right, so now, guys, I want to, to, to spend my gold. Um, so first, I saw some wall rings. I'm going to go and use those. There you go. And let's upgrade a Tesla. This is going to be a 10 million gold upgrade, 14 day upgrade. The walls are 3 million, so I do have extra gold to spend some walls. There you go. What a, I've got a little bit of my treasury, but not much, so no worries there. Let's upgrade this Tesla to max for town 12, 14 day upgrade, 10 million gold in 3, 2, 1, bam. Okay, so you are probably wondering something, right? What are you wondering? What about elixir, right? You just, you, you, you got max elixir, basically, or like a lot of elixir. Well, the problem is that my lab will be done tomorrow. So I'm gonna need a lot of elixir or maybe even dark elixir tomorrow. So uh, I'm gonna save the elixir that I have now so that I have enough tomorrow to actually do an upgrade. So that's my strategy there. Um, and sweet, okay, so let's go do another raid and Keep working, man. I mean, so we got the king. He's going to be able to help us out quite a bit. This base has a lot of loot on the outside. This is fantastic. All right. Uh, Pekka, take care of that wizard tower for me, please. There's no other splash damage on the outside. There actually is a bomb tower out here. I didn't see it. So let's go ahead and put the barbarians and the archers down. We split them up so that uh, they work together. Bomb tower can only hit one group at a time. So now let's spread out the barch. Lots of loot on the outside. Lots of loot on the inside. This base is a massive loot grab right here over 700,000 golden elixir this is massive so um i'm thinking wall wrecker we definitely want to get to the town hall we do absolutely want to get to that dark elixir storage remember now that we've upgraded the king we need to upgrade him again i'm going to be in like ultra crazy feisty mode trying to get all of my heroes upgraded again this is this is a bit of a change on uh what we've been doing this past month or two i mean keeping all heroes upgrading all the time but, all right, so here's what we'll do. Um, I'm thinking wall wrecker through this corner. I'm also going to send the balloons. There we go. Send those balloons in there. King will break through. No problemo. And then I've got the CC troops as well. But I'm really hoping uh, that we're able to go all the way into this inside compartment. Now, this is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a struggle here. Uh, let's drop this poison on this king. 
Okay, that'll help a lot. The wall wrecker's gonna be breaking through too. No problem. There we go. It's open. That is perfect. Let's pop this king's ability here actually right now. King's gonna go down and now I've got rage and heal over the troops that are in there. They're gonna pop out. Uh, the Valkyrie goes way ahead of everybody else. The Yeti uh, with his enhanced damage will take out the Dark Elixir Storage. The town all goes down as well and we got the treasury. That was a 100 Dark Elixir grab right there. That was awesome. Okay, so so now what? Um, that was awesome. I really can't do much else. Uh, I, I did use my heal spell, which was nice. I, I've been saving them since I had my miners. I was using those for a long time. But there we go. Without loot bonus, nearly 800,000 gold. Over, or nearly 700,000 elixir and over 7,000 dark elixir. Some massive gains in today's video, guys. Crazy raids. Um, and both of them really quick searches. I mean, that was awesome. So, now, let's look at what we have. We have over 8.5 million elixir. Definitely going to be using it in the lab tomorrow, okay? We have 7,000 dark elixir, and technically in two days, I'll need at least 236,000. The next builder that's going to be done is the queen. So, I'm going to have to make a choice. Am I going to upgrade the king again or the queen Am I going to have enough elixir after the lab upgrade to upgrade the warden again? It's a problem. <laughs> we, I, I might have put myself into a, a, a into a bind here uh, with what I decided to do today. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. It's going to work out absolutely perfectly. Guys, today was an absolute blast. Always enjoy getting some progress in the books. And um, using a book of heroes, kind of a rare thing here on this series. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. And, of course, hit that subscribe button to join the Klaus family for daily gaming videos. Also, to, again, join the hashtag Klaus family. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications and consider becoming a member for only 2 bucks a month for early access to videos and ad-free viewing. You can check out the link in the description if you're interested in that. Also, don't forget to support your favorite content creator using the creator code with your in-game purchases. If you want to support me, I greatly appreciate it. Use code Klaus. There's a link in the description to automatically input the code. But remember that the code expires every seven days, so here is how you double check and make sure the code is active. It's real easy. Go into your shop and look for the little white C below the red X. And you, just, you can see I don't have it. So that means mine's expired. The way to input the code, again, use the code link in the description or do it manually. This is how you do that manually. You go into your settings and go down to more settings and then scroll down to the very bottom. Right under create a boost to enter code and input code Klaus or again any code you choose to use and then bam you're done. You're good to go. Ready to buy some stuff. Ready to keep on clashing. So guys that's all from me. Remember that I love each and every one of you and I'll see you all again next time.